Dr. Ludwig Johnson. He's the best-selling author of Stop Diabetes, Your One-Minute Endocrinologist and Fat is Not Your Fault, all of which promote a medical protocol based on the paleo diet to reverse type 2 diabetes and other metabolic conditions. Let's give him a round of applause. Hi. Thank you for coming. Um, how many of you treat patients at all, like your medical doctors or you do? Excellent. Cool. Things I'm going to talk today about, I never knew when I graduated. I didn't learn at med school. And so that's why I made it a point in my life to communicate these points that I think are so key and important and the reason why a lot of people are suffering out there. Um, I like to start with these because I didn't know that I didn't know, so it was hard to ask. It, it basically the worst that scenario in life when when you know that you don't know, you ask. Hey, I don't know about it, so please tell me. But when you don't know that you don't know, it's very hard to ask. I didn't get into paleo because of fitness or because I wanted to try something new for myself or because I suffer some kind of these or that. It was because it was the only thing that worked in my private consultant as a medical doctor. The only thing that resulted for hypertension, for fatty liver disease, for anxiety, sleep disorders. And so I started to research everything because they never taught me that in school. And yesterday I was here and I heard a lot about how hard it was to treat your non-paleo doctor. But it is also hard for a paleo doctor to treat a paleo doctor. Uh, it, it is it, it's very uncomfy. We go against the grain because basically we were taught a disaster formula for health for some people that are genetically encoded to live in a different planet. Um, I think it is a secret for many reasons. And I like to start with the patients that I daily see. These are uh, actually pictures of testimonials in YouTube. Of course, they're in Spanish. But here's a lady that was put on insulin. She became type 2 diabetic. She'd been for 10 years type 2 diabetic, insulin with three years. She was very overweight. Comes to me with a protocol that we're going to share today. And uh, now she's been doing well out, out of medication, insulin. Uh, she's a doctor. Here's a lady who suffered fibromyalgia, pain all over. Uh, a guy about my age uh, had this liver disease, NAFLD, which is called non-fatty liver disease. You know, you don't eat fat. You got high triglycerides. You got fat in your liver. You don't know why. And so doctors were trying to find out why. And they keep telling them the same thing over and over. If you don't do something, you don't get rid of these. You're going to have to take your liver out. You're going to have to have a transplantation. Uh, cirrhosis. And now he's doing well with the protocol. A lady, very young, became type 2 diabetic, multi-medicated, now off of medicines. A gentleman that had, had a, a father who died of a heart attack and comes to my office because he's a little bit overweight. I, I find out that every member of his family has had a heart attack very early in their life. He's got insomnia, migraines. All I say is take magnesium, and he you know, drops a uh, kidney stone, and he's off a of medication from hypertension that he had since he was 30. Again, migraines, high triglycerides, headaches, a polycystic ovatic syndrome, infertility. You know, 10 years from doctors to doctors trying to get pregnant. And these are testimonials. Now, uh, the formula for disaster, what I call it, or the triple no, the no, 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 is to eat everything, a little bit of everything, low fat, to get calcium supplementation to prevent osteoporosis, and that if your tests come out normal, it means that you are normal. Uh, it doesn't matter how you feel, your tests are normal, you might be crazy. These things I learned at school. And what is the secret? Yes, what we've been talking about here the whole uh, weekend, we're not all created equal. But where is it that we're not created equal? The liver, the kidney, and the gut. 
uh, Saba Voss would eat, yeah, the liver makes glucose, right? You don't eat glucose to live because the liver makes it out of protein. But uh, if you, for instance, you got 24 hours fasting, your liver makes glucose. That, we all know that. But what I didn't know was that some people, when they eat, uh, keep their production of glucose in the liver while others don't. If you got someone from Europe, uh, you probably won't. You got someone from Mexico, someone from, um, let's say, an Eskimo, the liver makes glucose 24-7. It doesn't matter whether it's fasting or post-pandrel, whether you're eating. It makes a very huge difference because the paleo liver thinks that you're eating only protein. Your liver makes the glucose that your geography doesn't have. So it knows you're eating the protein, so you need to make glucose. As the other um, liver, the non-paleo liver, got adapted to carbohydrates. It changed. And so now you eat, and that liver stops glucose production. We're talking 20 years old, um, healthy, in shape. It's different. Same thing with the gut. You know, we've, we've talked about... Um, Immune conditions, you know, for you, dairy is good, for you, it's not good. For you, flour and, and wheat and all these things, they don't harm you. For you, they harm you. And the kidney, some people will lose magnesium 24-7. If, if you don't eat calcium that day, your kidney will hold it. If you eat calcium, your kidney will lose it. But it doesn't go that way with magnesium with some people. 35% of us will lose magnesium 24-7 because the kidney got adapted to a high consumption of magnesium. So the thing is that uh, your planet changed, but ge your genetic is still the same. You're the same. You're paleo when you were paleo. So that's probably the message here. Some people have a paleo metabolism and some people don't. We've called it these different ways, insulin resistance, which is a human adaptation to provide carbohydrates in a no-carbohydrate geography, a 24-7 glucose production from the liver. And of course, this gut has never seen casein, or pectins, or lectins, and uh, this is a kidney that will lose magnesium. Here is my blog. This is a picture of my blog just to remind me of um, everything that I say here, you know, the medical uh, science published based in medicine, it's, it's all here if you want to look at this article. But here's what it says uh, that basically the pres present data show that for we believe the first time that there is a difference in the rate of suppression of endogenous glucose production upon feeding between normal glucose tolerant persons belong to ethnic groups with significant different risks for type 2 diabetes. Of course, if you, you, got, you are paleolithic metabolism. You produce glucose in order to use it, not to uh, substitute that. You need to use it. But if you don't use it, 20, 30, 40 years later, you destroy your pancreas. Uh, and the reason is geography again. 50 years ago, we can see here the yellow line. These are all brothers, genetically brothers. They, they're up to here to Mexico. You review all these countries, there are the higher rate in type 2 diabetics and obesity. Uh, islands around here because they're very, they, they're very paleo. Their metabolism is so pure. They, it hasn't changed. And uh, here's where agriculture, uh, we got in contact with it 10,000 years ago. And these people got used to it and adapted. It's, it's called adaptation. Kidney again, science, where it says the magnesium thing that I'm talking about, different planet. So some people will not get this, these things. Hashimoto, PCO, NAFL, metabolic syndrome, obesity, because of the adaptation. Some people won't get malaria in Africa. Um, I wrote this. I made a protocol, that, which is the one that I want to share with you today. Uh, this Three books, one is on Amazon, the other ones are all in Spanish, of course, um, which is basically what to do uh, with a person that has all these things, type 2 diabetes or 
fatigue or obesity, can't, you know, they can't get rid of the belly or fatty liver disease, even though they're doing everything when paleo is not enough. And so it's, it's basically four things that goes probably against the grain again. Number one, paleo is the way, yes, because it's a natural way, not because it's a fancy trend, but because it's normal. The, for the tiger, it's meat, and for the, uh, I don't know, for the elephant, is, uh, or the cow is grass, and, and for the paleo guy, it's paleo food. It's just as simple as that. It's not a diet, it's natural and normal. And the paleo is not summer, you know. People talk a lot about fruits and, and tubbers and, and these and that. Paleo is four seasons, right? So you got to go out of fruits for a season and probably fasting, getting into ketosis and and then, yes, you can do fruits. And so some people got adapted to fruits 24-7. Some didn't. This is uh, between paleo metabolism and schemo. It's very different. All I eat is snow and, and fish, uh, breakfast, dinner, and lunch. No fruits uh, for a long period of time. So some of you who's got this is chemo metabolism, you take a fruit, it will change you a little if you're fat or overweight. Uh, Paleo is part of the number then, but it's not the number. This is my phone number. You dial everything perfectly, but you miss one, I, I won't answer. It just, it's just a simple, because a lot of you go, well, I'll do these, I do that, you know, I've checked my thyroid, and I take that medication, and I stop doing fruits, and I exercise, and I fast, but it doesn't work. My head doesn't grow, or my nails are breaking, or I'm depressed, or I'm tired, or I have pain. Well, you need to do everything, everything at the same time. And so the paleo protocol I came up with basically has six numbers. Number one, find your right season. Meaning, if you probably you're the diabetic, uh, you high high blood glucose right now, you're out of shape, or you got fatty liver disease or high triglycerides, you want to lose that belly. You gotta stay away from fruits and tubers. Uh, detox. We did a lot of talk yesterday about it. Magnesium calcium balance, I'll talk about it in a bit. Metformin, thyroid supplementation, and this polyphenols, which is God in nature. Um, these super antioxidants, the olive leaf extra and curcuma, and they can get rid of pain and salary. This is a patient of mine who's happy, sends that through WhatsApp. This is another one uh, talking about magnesium, all the things he, how he changed. Again, this is all against the grain. Number one. Uh, it's high fat. It's not, it's not low fat. High fat. So you don't need to do a lot of protein. And you get satiated. And fruits, you might want to get rid of those for a while. As soon as you get on track and you lose your belly, you can do that. Uh, ketosis, it's probably what's needed at times. So, but you won't get that ketogenic if you're very paleo because you produce a lot of glucose. So that's why we're all different getting into ketosis. A lot of people get these fats. We're even eating, eating fruits, a lot of fruits. Some people need to get rid of that, even do fasting to get in ketosis. Um, you know, when, when you don't have magnesium, because it's the opposite of calcium, magnesium is inside the cell. And calcium wants to get into the cell, but it cannot do it because of magnesium. So, but you're low in magnesium, calcium moves from the bones and gets into your heart, your brain, your joints. So it's a calcium paradox. You get soft bones, broken bones, you got osteoporosis, osteopenia, and you got hard, uh, hard brains and hard hearts and hard joints. And it, that's very slowly through times. And of course you can get insomnia, migraines, tachycardia, and, but, a lot of these people, you know, what I said, that are encoded, 35% of us lose 24-7 magnesium. If they don't take magnesium supplementation or eat a lot of veggies, and they will have an uncle or a grandparent or someone who died early in life from a heart attack, 55 years old heart attack. I, my father, I got insomnia, I got tachycardia, I got uh, migraines. You are this guy. You need magnesium supplementation. And, uh, again, the science, you look it up at my blog, everything is being published. But your body's the best test, you know. How do you know it's magnesium? Take it. Are you better off now? You're sleeping now? It went away, stop it, it comes back? Of course, you're this guy. Number three, 
Should we use medicine to inhibit neoglucogenesis? Should we help this person who's doing everything, ketosis or, or stop fruits and works out and but still has the belly, the fatty liver disease? Uh, he's stuck. He hasn't lost weight for two or three weeks. He's been doing fine, but, or he has a lot of anxiety or he hasn't been able to get pregnant. Metformin is a drug to use for insulin resistance, as we call it, uh, but it's human adaptation, as I said. Um, a lot of people said, well, I'm paleo. I don't need medicine. I I'm going to stay away from it. Medicines are bad. You know, I can do it the natural way. But the thing is, medicines, me medicines are good if you don't forget to attack the cause. The problem about medicine is that you talk, attack the consequences. You forget about the cause, then it's no good. But there are times in which medicine, it's important. You're already attacking the cause, you're staying away from the food, but you also need a little bit of help from metformin. Otherwise, you won't lose weight or you won't get pregnant or you won't reverse the hypertension. So this one, two, three in the metabolic syndrome, a, a lot of times do it. Magnesium, paleo, the rice season, and metformin, two grams. Um, at night, basically, we're neoglucogenesis in the fasting, three o'clock in the morning, a.m. It's what's very important. It, it, it inhibits neoglucogenesis. And then the thyroid. If, you if you're on, on metformin, thyroid, it's, the test results come, comes altered two points lower. So you need to really think on thyroid, not only uh, in people who are tired or cold, but also high cortisol or has low iron or high prolactin or high cholesterol, um, pain all over this fibromyalgia, selenium uh, supplementation, it's very important. Uh, iodine and stay away from the toothpaste. Don't, don't so don't do the floor, you know, you don't want to. So I'm going to end up now because I know it's, what, two more minutes, three more minutes? Three. Uh, I want to summarize it here. These four points are very important. Magnesium, metformin, the right paleo season, and thyroid. Sometimes we need to do a test. Everything comes fine for the thyroid, but we still have the patient who doesn't do well. And we need to give it a tryout, a small dose, 25 micrograms. And there are times in which the patient, you know, the glucose comes down, the joint pain, the pain goes away, fatigue, depression goes away. So uh, you really need a doctor who is willing, willing to work with you with ease. But these four are the major keys uh, to do the paleo uh, possibility, a success for you when you have diabetes, polycystic obatic syndrome, NAFLD, or infertility. Well, that's about it. Um, so I'm ready to hear questions.